Last weekend, Oklahoma and Baker Mayfield went into Ohio State and took them down. And first off, I was, I've was i never been more happy to see that. I've never been more happy to see the team I picked to win the national championship lose a game. I love Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield is my, he. I hope he wins the Heisman. He's my favorite quarterback in college by far. All the adversity he's fought through, you know, walking onto two teams. He's such a good story. Look him up on Google. Baker Mayfield is amazing. I love him. And by the way, he's repping it for short quarterbacks. I was a short quarterback growing up. Baker Mayfield's repping it for short quarterbacks. But guys, look. Ohio State won, lost. Ohio State lost one game to an Oklahoma team that will probably go undefeated. Again, we got to take a deep breath. We got to slow down. We got to relax. And some people are saying Ohio State is already the disappointment of the season. I don't know about you, but that seems like a bit of an overreaction, right? Like, what? Like these columnists, these bloggers are just ridiculous. I'm like, uh, what? The disappointment of the season? Ohio State? Don't forget last year, Ohio State lost to Penn State and they still made it into the college football playoff. Not to mention, Washington lost to USC and Clemson lost to lowly Pittsburgh. And yet, Ohio State, Washington, Clemson, all three of those teams made it into the college football playoff with a loss. And Clemson, a really bad, really ugly loss to a bad team. One loss is not ending Ohio State's season. And you do realize Baker Mayfield is the best quarterback in college football, right? Like, I think Oklahoma is going to make the college football playoff, which just makes it an even stronger bet that that Ohio State will be fine losing to a team like that. You, you guys, you know, you know, Ohio State probably cannot lose again. I'm aware of that. But everyone needs to settle down. Ohio State is eighth in the nation. Currently, obviously, Oklahoma's ranked higher than them. Alabama's ranked higher than them. Totally obvious. But then you have a couple teams that I think are going to quickly just, whoop, get right out of their way. You know, eventually, you, you have Michigan in front of them and Penn State. Ohio State plays both of those teams, and, and you know, you got to realize, the Big Ten is going to beat each other up. Whatever team is still standing at the end of the Big Ten season, that t- team is going to make it into the playoff. The Big Ten is going to just rip each other apart, and USC doesn't have a bye week. USC, I like them, I like their roster, I like their quarterback, but they can't go undefeated. They don't have a week off at all. It's a 12-week grind. Now, 13 weeks, because then they got to play the Pac-12 championship game. I think there's still a very good chance Ohio State makes it into the playoff and wins the national championship. They obviously have some issues. You know, their quarterback is very concerning. Uh, he, he's not... You'd think their veteran quarterback, who's played there for years, would absolutely light it up. And he's not. And that's, that's very weird to me. I think it's a coaching issue. You know, we did lose Tom Herman. His offensive coordinator went to Ohio, uh, Texas last year. So I think <clears throat> he just needs to, he needs to figure it out. But the quarterback is an issue. A- and currently, I think Penn State is a much bigger threat than Michigan is to ruining Ohio State's national championship hopes. You see, Penn State has a star quarterback. Michigan does not. So everyone needs to settle down, relax. Ohio State's going to be all right. They lost one game to a really good team. Ohio State is going to be just fine. They still have a chance to win the national championship.